Okay, so if you've been watching the past couple of videos on my channel, you'll know that we've got the MacMaster over here in Mallorca. And he's very kindly invited me onto his channel and I'm going to be making some content too. So this is the very first video. Now we're going to meet for a quick coffee. We're gonna go and film his video and then I'm gonna get him onto the channel too. And we're gonna to go for a walk down the beach here in Magaluf. Okay, so I'm down here with the MacMaster. We've just been filming his first video and I'll put a link to that in the description text below this video and in the pinned comment as well. But for now, let's welcome the MacMaster Lee to the channel and to Mallorca. Hello, how are you? <laughs> Not too bad. It's, how are you? it's weird meeting another YouTuber in person, isn't it? <laughs> it's like, wow, well, I've been watching you on my telly. <laughs> I've been watching you on my telly as well. <laughs> watching you watching me. <laughs> exactly. I can't tell you how weird it's been actually. When you've been watching someone for so many years as well and, and then you meet them and you realise they're actually all right. They're just normal people. <laughs> <laughs> I've never been called normal before. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, it's Lee's first time in Magaluf, so we're going to take a little walk down the second part of the beach and I'm going to ask him about his first impressions of Magaluf. So we're down here right in the centre of Magaluf Beach and look how gorgeous it is here today. Look at the water as well. And I'm just explaining to thee that um, this is one of the best times of the year to visit Magaluf. You can see the water is looking really, really turquoise blue. But for now, we're going to head on down onto the beachfront. We're going to head on down and go and have a chat about his impressions of Magaluf. Okay, so we're just walking down the back of uh, the beach here in Magaluf. So Lee, when Lee contacted me and he said, where should I stay in Mallorca? I thought, well, why don't you come down to Magaluf? And he was like, no, I don't want to go to Magaluf. And I'm like, well, why not? And why not, Lee? Why did you not want to come to Magaluf? What's your first impression of Magaluf? My first impression is, wow, this is not at all like I imagined it to be. Mm -hmm. And when you said stop in Magaluf, I thought, I'm not 18 to 30, you know, and I'm not in, into nightclubbing and it's a bit, but it's not like that. It's so, so, I'll tell you what amazes me is how clean it is. It's really, really clean. It's not like that. If you want that, you can have that in the strip, but there's other parts of it. And there's also people of my age uh, who like, you know, a, a little bit more subdued lifestyle and uh, a little bit more relaxed. Old. Old, yeah, old, yeah, <laughs> thanks. I'm old as well. <laughs> <laughs> so there's something for everybody. There's lots of families here as well, but you've also got that strip for the younger generation as well. So uh, I, I think it's a brilliant place, especially if you've got teenage kids who are like 19 and 20 like when I went to abroad with my parents when I was 22 and mm. uh, you know they want to go off partying and you wanted to go relaxing that you've got it all we've definitely got it all here we've got it all anyway we're going to keep walking down through Magaluf we're going to check out a few views here and we're going to keep talking Okay, so we're just walking down past Blackbeard's. Um, we're going to stop for lunch here a little bit later on. But Lee, I have to ask you, have you eaten anywhere in Magaluf just yet? And have you been for any drinks? Where do you recommend? Well, I've been to Blackbeard's, which is here actually. Uh, and it, I had a burger and I tell you what, it was humongous and it was really tasty one of the best burgers that i've had to be fair uh, very nice and also i've been to uh, benny hills bar as well which i hear they do a fantastic full english breakfast and i've been known to like my full english breakfasts no really yeah I you think... like it you like full english yeah i think we might have to try one of those <laughs> oh okay it has to be done it definitely has to be done anyway we're going to be back here in blackbeards a little bit later on but um we're going to keep walking walking down the beach here okay so we're just coming up alongside the bottom of the strip and um, I think I'm gonna have to take Lee out down Magaluf strip actually because again Magaluf strips got um, 
loads of connotations about being a really massive party area. It's not as massive a party area as it used to be. So Lee, are you up for doing a strip walk at some point during your, your trip here to Mallorca? A hundred percent, yeah. I'm going to go back to my the days of my youth. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd capture it all on camera. Except we're going to be checking if they do like soft drinks as well. So <laughs> <laughs> could be, could be, could get messy. <laughs> now, as well as um, well, with Lee being over this week, with the Mac Master being over this week, I'm going to try and film every day. I'm going to try and get the videos out. But Lee's going to be making a whole ton of content over here in Mallorca. So make sure, and if you're a big fan of the channel as well, make sure you subscribe to Lee's videos as well. Um, check out his content. See what his perspective on Mallorca is as well see if he likes it um, make sure you comment on his videos too let him know let, let him know what you think about what he's saying about the island too anyway come on let's keep walking okay onwards my friends now one thing that hasn't changed about Magaluf is that it's a big hen and stag party destination I'm just coming up outside Ocean's Beach Club I can see a, a hen do waiting to go in anyway we're gonna head on past just come down to what is quite a busy area of uh, Magaluf Beach. Lee, tell me what you think about the beach down here. I mean, it's it's pretty like it's pretty like being in the Caribbean, isn't it? Don't you think? It's absolutely gorgeous. The sand is golden, really clean, and the water is crystal clear. Totally, totally different to a lot of places that I've been. Nothing like Blackpool at all, is it? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite. And and how does it compare with uh, Paphos? Because we all saw we saw those videos. Um, I think the least said about Paphos, the better. Maybe I went at the wrong time of year, and maybe it, I, I'm not really. Let's not let's not talk about Paphos. A lot of closed down places though in Paphos, whereas here I haven't seen anywhere closed down. It's all a hive of activity, really. Everywhere's open. Everybody's having a great time. It's fantastic. I'm loving it, and it's so so clean. Yeah, that's, that's, that's brilliant. That's brilliant to hear, actually. So you see, it's not just me saying how nice uh, it is down here in Magaluf, and it's really packed over here today as well. So Lee's just talking about how clean it is over here in Magaluf and you know what when the summer season starts on the 1st of May they normally bring the tractors down um, every single morning as well to clean the beaches but you can see we still don't do not have sunbeds over here or beach umbrellas over here in Magaluf and we don't on any of the Calvia beaches just yet they are due to come out soon I have got a video about this actually coming out very very soon so make sure you follow my channel for more updates about the changing face of Magaluf and indeed of Calvia as well so that video will be coming out very very soon on the channel Okay, so there's loads of talk here about how expensive Mallorca is getting at the moment. But I think I'm outside one of the cheapest places down here in Magaluf. And also it's got amazing, amazing sea views. Check this out. Lee, what do you think about the Happy House? Look, I'm just going to turn the camera around. Many of you know the Happy House. Well, they've got full English breakfast there. So that's got me already. Uh, and they've got two eggs here proper breakfast for four euros 95 or you can have two of everything the real british breakfast for five euros 95 and a coffee for what is it for a coffee one euro one, fifty one euro fifty that's really really cheap now we've got to find that one euro pint does that exist still on the island or um i don't think it does i don't think it is i, th I can see that they do pints here for two euros fifty oh, two euros fifty that's still good though isn't it isn't it in this day and age it's brilliant it's brilliant anyway i'm sure we'll pop in here at some point as well but anyway let's keep on heading up the beach okay so you may remember a couple of weeks ago I came down here on my live stream and we saw that Sirocco was not open but it is now look they've got all their tables and chairs out as well and they've also got some April offers on drinks now, we're saying Happy House had some good bargains, but also over here as well, like a canya of beer is €2.50, Euros 50, a pint is 3.50, get a coffee for a couple of euros. 
And that's just to give you a quick idea of the prices, but it's looking really nice in here as well. And don't forget those amazing sea views as well that you get right down along Magaluf Beach too. So I remember coming up to this beach club last summer, it's called Caribou, and check this out as well, look, they've got free sunbeds here for customers, which is absolutely fantastic to see. Check this out, it doesn't look like it's actually open at the moment, it looks like it's opening, but what a nice spot to come down to. Before we finish this video, I thought I would just take a quick shortcut over here to Blackbeards because Lee's actually going to be making a food video about his experience eating here in Blackbeards. A little bit further up the beach, you saw it earlier on. Lee, what have you ordered? What are you thinking about ordering? I'm not sure yet. I'm, I'm, I'm perusing the menu. I've used that word a lot today. Uh, I think I, I'm, I may go for a wrap. I'm not sure yet with a side of chips, obviously, because the wrap's a bit too healthy, but it offsets the sort of like the calories, you know, yeah. with the wrap. <laughs> I was thinking of doing the same. I think you should go for the ribs. I might. The only thing is, I'm I'm a bit fussy eater because I, like, I don't like getting my fingers dirty. So I'm like, I'd eat the ribs with a knife and fork, which is a bit odd. Mm. But I mean, they are renowned for their ribs, aren't they? They are. They are definitely, definitely. Okay, so if you want to see the full food review about Blackbeards, then check out Lee's video. I shall drop a link to it when it is published in the in the comments for those video and also in the description as well but for now we're gonna order some food and um, we're gonna see what it's like today Hey Lee, so what do you think about your first impressions of Magaluf? It's not bad. I mean, check out the views behind us. It's all right, isn't it? I think it's absolutely awesome. It's a great place for families and teenagers. You've got everything here. And it immediately, I've said it before, it's so, so clean. Who? I mean, it's incredibly clean. Who cleans the place? There must be cleaners out all the time. <laughs> no, well, I'll tell you what. Okay, so anyone who watches the channel, you're going to know all the amazing places we've got around the islands. And he hasn't seen anything yet, because just behind these buildings here, we've got the very lovely Palmanova. And we're going to be visiting Palmanova very soon, as well as some other top destinations on the island too. So if you have enjoyed this video, if you've enjoyed watching the MacMaster over here in Mallorca, don't forget to consider the subscribing to my channel and subscribe to his channel as well to see much better videos and more no. entertaining videos on the MacMaster YouTube channel and well you're going to get loads of awesome Mallorca content this week okay Lee we're going to go and have some lunch um thanks very much for joining me on my channel and um we shall be filming again very soon it's been an absolute honor there's jellyfish by the way in the sea just there a couple of jellyfish oh no now guys you may remember that I made a, a video about jellyfish over in Palma Nova. It looks like a few have swum over here. Um, most of the jellyfish are out of the water over here in Calvia now, um, but just keep an eye out for them. I can see a couple, but it's spring. You get jellyfish every now and again over here, but just keep an eye out if you're going in the water. But there are lots of people swimming over here at the moment today, so it should be all right. They'll, anyway. they'll, they'll swim away from me. They'll think I'll batter them and put them with a plate of chips. <laughs> That's very true. <laughs> okay, everyone, thanks very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one. Goodbye for now. Bye. -bye.